Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the automated Kanban Excel template. First, let's go into the settings page. It allows you to set up data lists that will allow you to visualize your task progress and overall situation. Let's start with the team members list. Here, you can enter as many team members as you want. Let's add a new one that we'll call Mark Zuckerberg. Perfect. Now, we'll go to the board name slash project list, where we list the projects we'll attach our tasks to. Let's create a new project called Demo Project. Great. Let's look into the last list, the status. We can add up to six statuses. Let's add a new one we'll call Waiting for Approval. Now, let's move on to the most important input page, the Tasks page. This table will allow you to create and modify tasks. We'll go through the process of adding a new task together. We'll call our new task Demo Task. And we'll attach it to our newly created project, the Demo Project. As for the team member, we'll assign it to our newly created member, Mark Zuckerberg. Let's see, we'll set this as a high priority task. And for the date, we'll set the start date as the 13th of July 2020. And the due date as the 15th of August 2020. As you can see, the duration automatically calculates. Regarding the status, we'll set it as waiting for approval. And for the percentage complete, let's put 0%. The overdue column automatically calculates based on the due date and the status. Awesome, we're ready to start visualizing. Let's go to the core of this tool the Kanban board. You will notice that all our tasks are grouped by status and all display the task name, the person it's assigned to, and its due date, so you can easily view the overall situation in a glance. The color coding will indicate the task with a low, medium, or high priority. The tasks in red are crucial, whereas the one in green do not hold as much importance. Finally, a little flag in the task card will indicate if the task is overdue or not. If you check the top right corner, there are four slicers that allow you to filter the Kanban board and view only specific tasks by team member, project, priority, or overdue. Let's look at the task under our newly created team member, Mark Zuckerberg. We immediately see the task we just created. As you can see, it is under the waiting for approval status. And the red flag indicates that it is a high priority project. As I said, we can also choose to filter by project. Like this. Or only visualize the overdue tasks. Or not overdue. Or even check only the high priority task, for example. Let's now go to the dashboard. Unlike the Kanban board, you do not see a task detail, but more of an overview of the main metrics that are crucial to understand the overall progress and situation. On the left hand, you can visualize numbers that are representative of the overall situation. We have the total number of cards or tasks the overall percent progress, the number of overdue tasks, and the percentage they represent. We then have a card by status bar graph, pretty self-explanatory, and cards by priority donut chart, which shows the different priority levels, high, medium, and low, by percentage. Finally, on the very right, 
We have the number of tasks by team member and by status for the first graph, and task by team member and by priority for the second one. That's it! You know everything you need to know about the automated Kanban board, and you're ready to start using it.